Hey guys, Aaron here. Yeah, I forgot to press the microphone button. Uh, I hope you're doing well anyway. Hope you had a great Christmas. I'm going to be playing something a bit different than I usually do. I'm going to be playing Outlast. I've had this game for ages and I spent like maybe 15 minutes playing it. And uh, I never really got much further than that. But you know what? I, I feel like I want to get scared the crap out of me tonight. So I'm going to start playing it, see how far I can get. It's about a five hour game. We'll see how far I can go anyway. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stick with normal. Uh, bear with me one second. Let's get the chat window up. So yeah, I think there's like some DLC for this. And there is also uh, Outlast 2. Which I don't currently own, but still. Uh, Cam's Keeble, welcome. Mr. Oofhead, welcome as well. Right. Outlast contains intense, sorry, contains intense violence, gore, graphic, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. So yeah, if you're watching this, you know the deal. Uh, you are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition it is uh, is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything, you are not a fighter, to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide or die. So proper survival horror. Uh, great Dragon Gamer, welcome man, True Pixel Gamer. A random stranger, a bit old school. Uh, I do a lot of old school stuff on my channel anyway, so why not? Thank you as well, True, for the cheers there. I hope you can hear me. <laughs> uh, I haven't quite looked into the, uh, the sound if it's working right, but I'll assume it is. And thanks for the uh, sub, Great Dragon Gamer, over on Twitch there. Uh, so it kind of reminds me a little bit like Resident Evil 7. So we're heading up to the Asylum. The, the only real Asylum I kind of know of is Arkham Asylum. So uh, I'm guessing it is nothing like that whatsoever. Although it would be pretty funny if the Joker just creeped out of like a cell or something, but not going to happen. Okay. Uh, right, we've got a letter. So, uh, what's the subject? Illegal activity at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software consult at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, F those guys. Terrible things happen there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep, finding something that had been ha, sorry, finding something that had been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt, and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Well, I'm the guy to expose it, obviously. Hey, Mr. Leon, welcome. Yeah, I've, I've done a few streams lately. Uh, I managed to finish off Super Mario World the other day, which... Uh, that was the first time I 100%ed the game in, like, many years, so it's all good. Uh, so we've got a video camera. So we're going to make our own movie. <laughs> Spooky. Okay, so we've got objectives. Uh, so we can access that by pressing the select button. And uh, let's have a look. So, no notes. And that's the, uh, the whistleblower document. Big Chungus 4. <laughs> Big Chungus. Sounds kind of rude. What is it? Oh, we can jump. That's good. Let's 
so that ducks. Oh, there's our camera, so... We've got a couple of computers. Kind of looks like my setup in the office, actually, so password. <laughs> Some creepy looking pictures. I'm hoping there's not really anything I need to do there. Hey, Philippe. I played it for about 20 minutes or so. But apart from that, it is first time playing. So I, I'm probably going to suck. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Great Dragon Gamer, thank you for the cheers, man. Loving the cheers today. So that was, what, X to open. To raise your camera, press RB. Right. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government uh, secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychoactive Systems in uh, 2009 under the guise of a charitable organisation. It's how they, they always open up, isn't it? Uh, cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity, but never, an, um, but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place is to be big might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Let's go solve whatever is going on here, then. You had to have the uh, the wolf howls as well. Just to give it that extra bit of creepiness. Yeah, Leon, it's... Um, I've heard really good things about it. I mean, I do like my horror survival games, and... You know, this is definitely one of them. You don't have any weapons, to my knowledge. I could be wrong there, but I'm pretty sure it's all about just hiding and avoiding what you can. No, we can't go in that way. They're used... Well, there is a, a game series. I've forgotten the... The name of them. They're mostly on Sony and uh, Nintendo. And you have to walk around with a camera and pick up ghosts. Whether that's anything like this, I've got no clue. But it seems to be maybe typical. Everywhere is going to be locked, isn't it? Oh, see a ladder. Yeah, to be honest, uh, Cam's keyboard, Minecraft, Roblox, I'm not playing it. I'm going to be completely honest with you. But, you know, if you like that type of thing, you know, it's all good. But just not for me. Philippe. Outlast is my favourite horror game. You know what? That fills me with confidence that I'm going to like this. Because I heard the second game was a bit... A bit extreme. Uh, to activate night vision, press R. Right. I really enjoyed playing, uh, what was it, Silent, that last Silent Hill game, which was more of a demo than a game, but jeez, that, yeah, <laughs> that was a, a good game, even though it only took me a couple of hours to get through it, but. Let's go have a look in the, uh, 
the fire. That's pretty dumb. Don't know why I did that. Yeah, tree pixel. Take it easy. Scary looking guy. Can we zoom in on his face? Yeah. Not, not the type of guy you want to meet in a dark alley, is it? That didn't scare me at all. Yeah, Silent Hill PT. How, how could I forget that? Uh, that was an enjoyable uh, experience, I would say. Oh, what we got? Another document. Let's have a look. What's it say then? Uh, right, so therapy status. Patient claims to have pr progressed self-directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activity observes, observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage 4 hormones, hormone schedule. Uh, diagnostics. Uh, spiritually uh, revealed no bronchial accumulation. Hemo I can't even pronounce some of these words, but anyway, uh, it's not good, whatever the case. <laughs> no, it's locked. Probably a good thing. the hell is that? <laughs> I love the fact as well, there's like a can of Coke or Cola, just so that I don't get sued or anything. Uh, yeah, a can of Cola next to... I don't even want to know what that is, to be fair. Something pretty grim. We're not alone. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think that was a turd, Chris. I I hope it isn't. Otherwise, someone really needs to go to a doctor ASAP. I'm not even joking. That was weird. <laughs> Typical. Someone had to go and block it up. So, uh... And what, we're... We're only like 10 minutes into the game. I've jumped twice. Let's use the camera. Wait, what? Where's his head? He's off his head. I, I honestly, I'd be like, screw this, I'm out of here. <laughs> I wouldn't stick around. Well, I think we found his head, or heads.
The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. Whoa. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. At least he, he was pretty helpful before he died, you know? He told me... Well, I need to get the F out of the place for a start. Um, and our battery is running low. Match the head to the corpse. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm out of it, Chris. <laughs> But I did see some crazy guy just, like, wander off somewhere, so... So how, how do we refill the battery? Do we need to find some? Ah. Speak of the devil. Uh, batteries are used for the infrared light of your camcorder. You can reload pressing Y. There we go. Wow. I feel for the guy that took a crap. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that come out of him or if it, it was already there, but that's not good. It's got to be painful. You have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Uh, uh, uh. Well, yeah, Chris, I, I think he, he must be a friend because he left me here. All of these other people weren't so fortunate, I guess, so... I guess I should count myself lucky that I didn't end up in a mess like these guys. What is the deal with, like, their heads? All of their heads are gone. Is there some reason as to why their heads have been harvested? Maybe we'll find out. We've got someone with a head. He must have been special. <gasps> I love the name of the monitors. Hellman. We're all going to hell here. What we got? Chris Walker. Uh, morphogenic e engine activity pla plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics. Spir sp spirometry. Uh, revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with patients reported dreams. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint uh, have to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Uh, extensive dermal eruptions con are consistent with failed morphogenic engine 
cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood boyhood experience with Tatuachi. <laughs> oh, I'm crap at pronouncing. Lizards. We'll just go with lizards. And their parental eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically around his lips and nose. Attending uh, all lies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progression of the ME progress. His pre, uh, predominant fixation amplified by therapy is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. Continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. So you're telling me I, I don't want to come across this guy. Were they there before? Or are they mine? No. So we can peek with LT. Okay. Nice little gameplay mechanic there. Should I go meet my, my new friend? Let's do this slowly. Hey buddy, how's it going? Can I get you anything? That ain't right. That really isn't right. I don't like the look of this. I mean, they look a bit more with it than this guy in the wheelchair here. Uh, and they're watching static on TV with blood. You know what? Let's not go in the room with crazed maniacs. A kebab maybe it looks hungry. <laughs> right, mate? Fancy a chicken donner? No. I offered. No. So I think there was uh, another way around this. Hey, Sunrise. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad today. How about yourself? Thought I'd uh, give Outlast a go. It's been a long time since I wanted to play this game, so it's pretty messed up. What have we got? Warrant for seizure. Uh. <clears throat> We're satisfied that the uh, fin Davit and testimony established sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS grounds for the assurance of this war uh, warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of Litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which required their actions regardless of responsibility. So, they, they don't want to take any of the blame. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a strange survival horror. I like the fact that you don't really pick up weapons from what I've been told. It's very much about hiding from the enemy. And... That wasn't good. We got... What is the deal with arms in toilets? <laughs> 
Uh, witness. What are you doing there, mate? That's not normal. Someone's going to have a hell of a clear-up job after this. Uh, we've got another battery. Uh, I did a PT playthrough a while back, luckily. I still have that game. I, I did do PT uh, along with Silent Hill 2 and 3. That must have been back in uh, October, something like that. PT was a really enjoyable game. It, it kind of reminds me of this, to be fair. Although I think that might have come first. But yeah, thankfully I've still got it on the uh, PS4. Uh, I see you do a stream of... Friday the 13th I do have that game but I've just never, when it come out in beta I was hooked but ever since I bought it back back in October I just, just can't get into it I was kind of hoping they were going to fix a lot of the bugs that were in the beta and to me it doesn't quite seem like they did that uh, Dear Sirs, a full report pending, no intimate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp the profit potential of Matter Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. Uh, the four fatalities contain enough ambitious, da ambiguous data to make it any literation. If evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will be almost certainly be further casualties. You don't say. Uh, as with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanishing unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as a morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working models, but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Granat, is that? Murkoff Legal Mitigation Department. I love the fact as well. You always get that strange sound after reading a document. It's always the asylums, isn't it? I, I remember... Some of you guys are probably too young to remember this, but uh, Return to Oz, it was like a sequel to a uh, Wizard of Oz. Completely different, really, but it starts off in a mental asylum, and it's like Wizard of Oz, you know, it's all cheery, you've got Dorothy, Toto, you've got the Scarecrow and all that stuff, and then you watch Return to Oz, and it's like I've entered hell. <laughs> that film was... I don't know, I think it... I would say it was breaking boundaries for uh, that type of film. No, can't go that way. Uh, I just remember in that film, there's a scene... Well, there's multiple d disturbing scenes, but... There's one bit where you walk into a... Well, she... Dorothy walks into this big uh, area. It's got all these heads. Like, decom... Uh, just heads, sitting in cupboards. Scary as hell. <laughs> Especially if you were young watching it. Well, that sucks. I thought I could actually go somewhere down there.
Uh, so where have we got to go? I mean, there is that room down there, which... I'm, I've, I haven't really decided I want to take that risk. I did check everywhere here, I believe. Did we go in there? Oh, a key card. Now, I really hope this game isn't going to be a pain in the ass and just not really show you where the key cards are. Some games they like flash, other cards they're really well hidden. We can't go this way, no. That was locked. Come on, where's the key card? Perfect timing. Uh, it's, it's okay, I play with some good buddies, so it kind of makes it a bit more fun. Plus, we take shots of alcohol when we kill Jason to spice up the game. Yeah, for anyone wondering, yeah, we're talking about Friday the 13th, the game there. It's, yeah, it, it's so weird. I, I, I was really, well, I wouldn't go as far as saying addicted to the beta, but I had a lot of fun with it. But it, the controls just... You know, didn't really seem like they advanced much from the um, from the PlayStation era. They just seemed a bit broken, and I, I just got fed up with certain aspects of it. But it was a shame because everything apart from that, it seemed like a fun game. It could have done with a bit more um, ways of escaping from Jason, but I haven't really played it for more than a few hours since I bought it, so... There's another one, Dead dead of Daylight, something along those lines, very similar, uh, which I also got in some humble bundle, but uh, not given that go yet. Anyway, should I risk it? They don't care. I mean, I'm probably more interesting to watch than whatever that's supposed to be. Uh, that ain't right. Yeah. <laughs> and this guy, well, he's just all scrunched up in the fetal position. I'll leave him alone. Don't disturb him. Gotta be joking. Ah, we have a key card. So we know where we can use that, so... I tell you what, the batteries are pretty crap. They, they don't seem to last very long. If real batteries lasted that long, I would, uh... I don't think I'd bother. Get 
Don't do that to me. <laughs> what is your problem? No more, please. <laughs> What was that? It's like a weird little... Whoosh, whoosh. Unlock the main doors, I think that's wise. Have we got anything we can read? No. They lie. Who lies? Restart the generator in the basement. Okay, that's not good. I don't like this. Where is he? Jesus. Was it was it the basement, did he say? Yeah. Can we close the door? Please close the door. Yeah, we'll leave him, we'll leave him. Glad that's stopped. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Uh, on Wednesday, 10th of February, 10th of February, my birthday, uh, 1954, definitely not my date of birth, uh, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13 of the Mount massive preserve in Colorado using the following subjects post hypnotic uh, of the night before pointed finger you will sleep was enacted uh, Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion Miss Pierce was then instructed having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion that she would use every method at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson now in a deep hypnotic sleep, and failing this, uh, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Two, Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing that unloaded fanatic pistol uh, gun at Jackson, then proceeding to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed a complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awakened state, uh, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. What is this place? This is, this is all kinds of messed up. This should have been shut down. So, our new friends disappeared, thankfully. Oh, we gained a battery. Bonus. They're expensive things, batteries. Oh. 
Who's there? Friend or foe. This game got me a lot with the jump scares, making me look like a punk. That's that's the thing though, you know, I, I don't really find games scare me too much lately. Well, the ones I played. So it's kind of good to get a good jump scare game, in a sense. It makes it, I guess, fun for the audience. For you guys. Make me jump like a, a little girl. So what, we can... Why is there a can of paint? Oh, there goes our battery again. Uh, turn on the two gas pumps and the main breaker to restart the generator. Okay. So... They must be hidden in one of these other rooms. Ah, uh, so we can hide in the lockers. Bit like alien isolation, I guess. Stop. It's been right so far. Let's make use of that locker. I'll be alright, yeah? Please tell me I, I'll be okay. So I wonder if I had the light on. Jeez! No, no, no. Not good. I, I don't like this. I can't see anything. I'm dead. So how... I'm sure there was a way of evading him, but... Let's give that a go, another go, shall we? So maybe he can see me when the camera is on. Who's there? I mean, even if I could just pick up like a uh, a pipe or something, just smack him over the head, be nice.
Ah, I see. So he's busting through there. This is tense. This is really tense. Did he see me? Risk it. That's crap. There's nothing really uh, I need in this room. It's more of a safe haven, I guess. Let's try and get out of here. No, no. Let's just hope he doesn't have like a, a night vision goggle either. Is there nothing else up here? I think he's gone. <laughs> Let's risk it. <laughs> 
So what was it? I still need to find a cut, one other thing or two other things. So hopefully, yeah, going in the right direction. So that's the breaker. Sunrise. Yeah, I, I've done like a, a massive amount of cleaning this uh, Christmas. I'm all done for cleaning, thankfully. Hopefully for the next few days anyway. Right, uh, what we got here? What more wheelchairs? Just really gets me in the mood for uh, Resident Evil 2. Looking forward to that game. Big time. No. I'm a dead man walking. Please tell me we don't have to redo all that. Apparently we do. So I know where two two of the things are now, so it's not the end of the world. Who's there? So what was it I need? The main breaker, we found that. Gas pump. One I think was just up here. So let's go and get that again quick. just miss this one. Here's Johnny. tell you what though, I guess I should be thankful that they don't turn the switches back off. Because that just would be a pain in the ass. Okay, so that was all three, I hope. See him out there.
can't quite make out if that's him or not. Please, go the opposite direction. No, no, you see? Oh, don't do this. Come on, man. This isn't fair. This is not right. Come on. Oh, come on. What the? What? Come on. That's a joke. The weird thing is, right, I don't know if it's him grabbing me or not, but it goes a bit weird. Uh, right, okay. Did he not see me? We got this. We got this this time. It's got to happen, eh? So let's pull that, or push it, and hope for the best. I was kind of hoping he was go go the opposite direction, not go back to the way that I need to go. But let's give this a shot.
You know what? I think I've got that in the bag. Right. So let's get up to the... Right. Return to security control. Finally. <laughs> if I can remember the way back anyway. Got a tetanus injection that looked rusty. There is so much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. The only way out of this place is the truth. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before. So why am I so special? Why why is he keeping me alive then, I wonder? Bizarre. I'm sure we'll find out. Remember that notes. Right, okay. Sunrise. Thankfully, I managed to get past that bit. That was starting to annoy me. And that was kind of him for letting me out. Someone, please kill it already. Who's this? Maybe Father Martin's man. Maybe. He looks nervous. I would like to kill him. As would I. The preacher asked us not to. It would be. I like Prison Break. If it was given like a <laughs> a horror theme to it, I guess. Jeez. It's science, but it's not. They were waiting my blood for us. To get out. Poor guy. Place. Billy understood. They're always you don't want being here. Space. Alone. Leave me alone. That's just weird. <laughs> there is my blood in I mean, what, what must sort of go through the minds of developers when they make games like this? Like, full of really disgusting imagery. It's like... I'm surprised I don't get some kind of PTSD. It must be like ingrained into your mind when you go home. 
Oh, no, no, definitely didn't want to see that. Okay, so there's nothing up here. It doesn't look like I can get anyway. God. And I'm the sicko. Uh, are you are you being serious? Are you seriously being? Follow blood trails to the exit. Okay, I can do that. So, I mean, it's kind of got an intriguing storyline so far. Like, what the hell is actually going on here? Why are they being experimented on? I think there's more to it as well. Some kind of supernatural element down the drain looks like I'm going down the drain but first let's do a bit of reading father Martin a finger painter uh, dr. Zichna uh, gave me your info to contact uh, regarding the cancellation of the arts program. Uh, my patient, Martin Archimbord, has made enormous strides in his therapy on account of his finger painting. Okay, uh, I won't judge. Uh, just in the week since cancelling the arts program, his schizoaffective assertions have some higher calling, uh, have accelerated enormously. Please, just let the man finger paint. Uh, the few dollars you're saving on temper paint is more than swallowed by the cost of clozapine. I can't imagine the logic at play here unless Murkoff wants our patients to become disengaged from reality. Please advise. Let's go down the drain. Right. So I'm guessing someone is going to be uh, chasing me soon enough.
Right, okay. So, like I thought, there is more to it. Ah, can I get through there? Sound good. <laughs> okay, so they're the guys that can kill me then because they've got some kind of baton. Although, to be fair, I'd be pretty pissed off myself if I had a face that looked like that. No, no. No, I'm not. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm not here. Oh, you... Is there anywhere to hide? Yeah. I think I just got lucky there. At least my uh, cellmate didn't dob me in, so I should be thankful for that, I guess. Uh, I hear the second game is even better, but don't quote me. I've heard the second game goes, like, a bit too over the top with blood and gore and all the violence in it. Uh, maybe, you know, if I enjoy this one, I'll, I'll, I'll give that a go as well. It's just this one, what is it, a 15? I have a feeling the second game is like a, an 18, and I think it even got banned for a while at least uh, when it originally came out. You know a game's good if it's been banned before. It's like uh, Exorcist. I didn't watch that film for so many years because it got banned in what the the eight is something like that. I think it's too quiet. But when I actually got round to watching it, all I could do was laugh. <laughs> I didn't find it really remotely scary at all. Like the luckiest guy in the world. Out of two lockers, he chooses the one I'm not in. Yeah, Chris, Manhunter for the PS2 got banned and become a cult classic. I yeah, that that is exactly the case, and I remember getting hold of Manhunt 2 after they. Uh, I think they had to make some changes to it. I can't remember, but they released it. That, so it wasn't as graphic. They like changed the camera angles. And uh, I got Manhunt 2 on the, the Wii of all consoles. And you know what? It was it was not that great. <laughs> uh, I, I found it really clunky. Well, wasn't that a Rockstar game as well? 
think it was like one of Rockstar's earlier games, the, the first two manhunts. And to be fair, you know, I can understand why it got banned. It was pretty gruesome the way how you uh, you killed people. Because I'm sure it kind of... Someone copied it. They actually killed someone and blamed the game. Like no one's ever done that before. Did he see me? <laughs> go, go, go. That was a close call. I'm still following the blood. Jeez, guys, put some pants on. Uh, jump over and hang. Press A while moving towards the ledge. Why do I feel like this isn't going to end well? Okay, typical. We need another key code. Well, I think we just discovered why or how they're getting their heads ripped off. Mystery solver. Uh, how much did I pay for my mic? And what brand is it? I'm looking to get one for myself. I have a Snowball Ice. Now, if it's just you that is streaming, then uh, I think the version I've got, as I said, it's the Ice. But there is another version of it where it picks up a lot more. Like, if you've got other people in the room, it will pick it up better. I didn't know that when I bought it. And when I do streams with, you know, a friend or two, it doesn't always pick up their voices properly. Uh, I'll, t I'll try and find out the make and model of that one. Price-wise, I mean, I paid about £30, £40, which must be, what, $60? But I know Amazon have them on sale every so often. Exit through the showers. Yeah, I, I would get... That's one thing that I kind of notice where when I go on to other people's live streams is the quality of whoa 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 
It's naked, dude. Like two of them. <laughs> Let's jump out the window. <laughs> when, when I go onto live streams, you like you need the the sound needs to be good. So that's a good choice to get something like that. I mean, they're not that expensive, really, in the grand scheme of things. Hopefully the naked dudes are gone. Yeah, they've disappeared. Good stuff. Yeah, I, I, I like this mic, you know, when it's just me. It really does work well. It's just, yeah, you get a couple more people in and it's almost like I need to get an extra mic for that person. So, uh, but yeah, if it's just you, then Snowball Weiss does the job for me. What do you use at the minute? Do you just have like a, a generic mic microphone or something? Or like use the... Uh, the microphone on the laptop you got. What the? <laughs> uh, yeah, not good, not good. Big, bad idea, Aaron. Bad idea. For a second there, I thought this was Doom. How the hell do I get out? Oh. Surely he can't follow me. It's alright, you stay down there. I thought I was gonna there. Sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger there. <laughs> what we landed in, blood and guts. That is proper minging. Look at it. It's like garbage disposal. Uh, okay, find an alternate path to the showers. Oh, just your headset. Yeah. But yeah, I, I mean, what, I've, what I'm wearing now has built-in mic, but you definitely notice the difference. Right, guys, I just need to duck to the, uh, the toilet. Give me one, one minute, I'll be back. I'm going to hide under this bed for the minute. We're good. Right. So has he left me alone for the time being? That is the question. That's one thing with horror games as well. To me, it's it's not about the graphic graphics, right? It's about the sound and 
this definitely is doing the job for me. So is out walking. no escaping him here is there <laughs> I just hope the save point is like well preferably in this room That was my own fault. I thought I'd get away with not being seen, but it wasn't the case. So I need to be a little bit more uh, subtle than that, I guess. Come on. Oh, you. Why does it do that stupid? I, I, I guess the point of him, that weird move, is to be able to see who's behind you, but that just bugs the crap out of me. So uh, we need to go to the right, the top of the stairs. Nope. <laughs> Not a good idea. Nope, he's got me. He's got me. I was going to say, there was no way I was going to survive being dragged out twice. Okay, let's, let's get real now. Let's do this. Hey, Spud. How's it going? Hey, hey. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. I'll be happier when I get out of this section, to be fair. Oh. 
Oh, you would. You have got to be joking. This is. Right, I need to be a bit more patient, obviously, so... Let's just leave him to walk away. Hey, Gamian. Welcome. Nice and slow, though. Okay. I'm not your little pig. Thank you very much. Why would you do that? You twat. Ah, oh, we I see this that's where that guy had his head ripped off. Nice. It just looks like one big dead end. I'm not going anywhere. There's got to be something more to this. Something I'm missing here. So we can go that way. That's definitely closed off. Serves you right. Cheers, man. No, let's back away.
Hmm. So it kind of looks like there's uh, another platform over there, but... did what it told me to. Press A. Jump forward. Chris, are you still there in the chat? I think Nightbot kind of found that offensive. <laughs> Which is kind of weird because I'm pretty sure I've eased up on Nightbot's uh, rules. Everybody, what everybody. the? Was that really cool for? Class of spam. Spam. <laughs> I'll take another look at uh, Nightbot at some point. See what's going on there. How are these people even still alive, to be fair? Is anyone actually feeding them? No, by now, Chris. Don't don't anger Nightbot. The internet never forgets. So we've got we've got two paths. Let's go the uh, the blood blood soaked way. Proper minion. Oh, look, Wall Rider. So that was one of the the names mentioned in in the documents. Find a way out the sewers. Okay. Not the best time for the battery to be running out.
I wasn't paying attention though. I'm pretty sure I just saw something walk by though. Oh, we got another document. Let's have a let's have a look at that. Always confidential, and they're always left lying around in the most random of places. Uh, so, what we got? The Gospel of Sand. Uh, found scrawled in pencil on the back of an admittance form. Handwriting matches samples from patient Father Martin Archimbald. This god is real. Uh, what we've mistaken so long for ghosts, spirits, madness. We were only willing for ignorant. The scowls on Saul's eyes were fear, and when you see beyond it, you truly see. This is the gift of the wall rider. Uh, the Gospel of Sand. The greatest sin in the world is willfully ignorance of God to receive a re revelation and not spread it to the waiting flock. This place, to stand in the way of salvation, is a sin for which there is no punishment too great. And again with the uh, organs scattered all over the place. Nice. Flush the water by turning the two valves. So we've got lower junction down here. Okay, so we do get a map in the game, which is kind of handy. So... Is that where I am up here? I hope so. Uh, so we want to uh, take a... A left... Of course. It's never that easy. And he saw me. Right. Well, I didn't see that coming. We've got lower junction. Let's head down there first. Ah. So we need to get rid of the water. I mean, look at that guy. <laughs> it's huge. Puts the Hulk to shame. Okay, so that weren't too bad finding that one. It's just finding the other now. We got. Is he coming? I mean, it is pretty handy. There's these lockers just in the right place I need them to be.
Go on, pick a locker. Any locker. Hey, Mr. Bad Place, how's it going? Right, so I have a feeling, yeah, this is really. No, not good. You've got to be joking. I hope I made it. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad, thanks for asking. You have a good Christmas, yeah? So he seems to keep going down that same path I need to go, so it's kind of like I need to draw him out of there somehow. Too impatient, obviously. Hey, Black Panther. Uh, I I don't understand a word of Russian. Yolo it. I've been doing that a few times already. It gets me nowhere, trust me. We need to uh need to wait for him to do his thing. I think we're good. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, I spoke way too soon. We'll, we'll try the YOLO. Oh, come on. I, it's that 
stupid move where it changes the camera angle. It's an absolute nightmare. Right, so we know where one of the, the valves are, so let's go and deal with that. Not stupid, is he? There, there you go. Got me. There goes my neck. I kind of feel like the game needs a, a meter so that you know exactly what what he can hear or like a sensitivity of a bit like in any other stealth game where uh, the enemy will usually you have a map and the enemy will flash a different color if if he can hear you or not Let's go for the middle one this time. I don't believe that. I wasn't expecting him to actually find me. This is a joke. Seriously. That's it. Bugger off.
Alright, let's get let's like give him a little longer to, to disappear then. quite intrigued like the last two times he managed to find me in the lockers was that just like a lucky guess actually coming. Taking his sweet time. Okay, let's just let him waddle off and so somehow I, I need to I, well get in front of him and um, that seems to be a bit of an issue it's almost like I need to drag him back out to that middle section where I start off on Get that go so maybe we'll return back here Get up. Are you, oh. I, I don't even know why he saw me. I was I was hidden behind two crates. Is he telepathic? Can he Now, I don't con condone, sorry, I don't condone, like, weapons, stuff like that, but in this case, you know, a shotgun would come, come in pretty handy.
Come on. Ah, oh, hang on. You know what? That might have just got his attention. Oh. Ha uh ha. -huh. You're not getting me. Be on the safe side. Oh, okay. It's the other drain. Or valve, I should say. Use the ladder, right? So we know where that is. It's just getting back there that's going to be the issue. Although I'm intrigued what is down here, but. Yep, not good. I mean, when you think about it, it really wasn't that difficult, but it caused me so much grief. Jeez. I don't believe that. I hope that's the, the last we see of him anyway. Should we? That doesn't sound good. Kind of feel rude just walking away from him there, but I ain't got time for that. Right, let's head down here. Male ward, female ward. No, we're not going to the female ward. Sorry, guys. The hell was that? Nasty.
I hope we can find some batteries soon because I'm running out any minute now. be like one of my worst nightmares just not having any light and being stuck in a place like this complete darkness not knowing where to go I'm quite sure if I want to be going that way. How difficult is it to just jump up? There we go. I don't think I'm alone. Right, so I think that was where I actually come from. Because it doesn't appear to want me to get back up there, so... Let's just keep going forward for the time being. Going the right way, I hope so.
Hey, Vicky online. Uh, I, I wasn't really ill. I just... Uh, I, I did mention it on the other stream. Unfortunately, uh, my mum was very ill for a while. And unfortunately, she passed away a, a couple of weeks ago. So, you know, my life priorities changed a bit. And, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a weird Christmas, to be fair. But trying to get back to normality a bit so yeah I, I just needed to take some time off you know family comes first yeah cheers it's um, <laughs> not the right time really to uh, say anything when I'm being chased by that guy, but uh, yeah, I appreciate you saying that. I'm going to die, aren't I? I really hate this guy. He is doing my nothing. He got me. Yeah, no, it... Yeah, the whole situation, you know, it wasn't great. But... Like anyone that has to go through it, you know, I, I, I sympathise, you know, it's it's not a pleasant experience, anyone losing uh, family or friends for that matter, but yeah, just trying to get on with life really and as much as I can. <laughs> I've got good friends and family around me, they've, they've helped as much as they can. So uh just let's let's hope twenty nineteen is a good year. Oh come on. thing is, there were some batteries around here that I got the first time, and blatantly missed this time. This guy is just... Yeah, Sunrise... I th it's kind of weird, right? It To me, anyway, it was... I think a lot worse before she passed. I guess I, t I don't know. I'd, I I just didn't like seeing her how she was. You know, it's it's pretty distressing, really. And uh, I kind of feel like a a bit of a weight has been lifted, I guess, because I know she's not in pain. Let's let's not get the stream too down or anything. But I feel weirdly a bit better. Christmas went better than expected, so you know, just got to be strong as you say, and and try and move on with things best you can. Uh, Adam, hey there, how was Christmas dinner? Well, guess what? It was the first Christmas I actually have made dinner myself, so surprisingly, it turned out pretty well. Happy New Year as well when that comes. Yeah. 
yeah, he isn't going to be making that jump, is he? He would rip down the stairs, or the, uh, the ladder if he attempted that. You know what? These guys just don't give me a bleeding break. I hope I'm going the right way. Let's chase the uh, the crazed crazed guy up in front. Hopefully, he'll lead me the uh, correct way. Uh, Sunrise, you said you played this game before, yeah? How far along do you think I am? In the grand scheme of things. Because I'm probably going to do this stream in two halves, so I feel like there's no chance of me getting it done in one. Uh, reach your ground floor of the Mal Ward. Okay. That's not going to work, is it? trying to actually cover the door then but it looks like I might need to go that way let's just take a look back I mean, this is technically a pretty dumb idea, considering what I just heard behind this door, but it looks like it's the only way to go, so let's be dumb. It's like Silent Hill 2 all over again. Locked doors everywhere you turn. Oh, we got another document. What's this one say then? Project Wall Rider cost report. Uh, this patient also unfortunately didn't make it. I tried my best, but I'm just a doctor, not a miracle worker. 
And I'm pretty new to this whole doctor thing, so I'm still working out all the kinks. Anywho, somebody's got to cut the fat from this project, we'll ride. We'll ride a disaster. We've been bleeding money ever since this thing went tits up on account of that Billy kid. But I've managed to slim back personal uh, personnel by by more than 80 people. That's quite a lot. Uh, which means short-term savings in salary and long-term savings in pension and healthcare costs. And I've been figuring out a lot about biology. I was on the fence about it before, but now I can say with absolute certainty that a person can't live without his kidneys. You learn something new every day. I could have told you that, and I'm no doctor. Oh, God, what, what type of people do they employ? Jeez. Wow. That looks rank. Yeah, Silent Hill 2. Great game. We've lost the, uh... Bear with me one sec. I don't know why it does that. Occasionally it will lose the uh Occasionally it loses connection. I, I might have just kicked it or something, to be fair. You're blue. I, I hate it when the colours all mess up on face cam. It looks so, yeah, dreary. Yeah, we're back, guys. We're back. Silent Hill 2. Yeah, great game. But I think I might might leave it again before uh, I, I go back through that. thing is, there's so many t horror games that I do or, or would like to play through. That don't sound good. Well, that was trash. Beyond, uh, what, what? There's a couple of games. Uh, I've forgotten their name. One of them I played for a bit. Something evil. Uh, this document is a good testament for the need of standardised healthcare. Better doctors with a better understanding of kidneys. Hey, are. Uh, I'll be a doctor. I know how much money they get paid. Can't can't actually say I'll be any better, but still. Yeah, this isn't gonna happen, is it? Needs to be a bit quicker than that. Needs to get that moved before they bust in. That's bugging me now. What are those games? They're they're not even that old. A couple of horror games. A bit like Resident Evil, I guess. Ah, uh, what? What a time for the controller to die! <laughs> I 
Nah, I nearly said Beyond Good and Evil, but that that isn't a horror game at all. It's made by the the same guy who made Resident Evil 4. No, I, I mean we they're getting on. They're more retro games, aren't they? I'm talking the last sort of five years. That's better. Let's get that door closed. Seriously, what type of experiments are they doing here? That just looks so rank. That was going so well. <laughs> we got and the joypad's dead again. Try that again. Boy, I screwed it up again that for a second there. Still after me. You can't Who's down there? You're not one of them, are you? Quick, get in the dumpster huh. if you want to live. Just made that. Give me a chase here, buddy. Hey, you're that bullshit priest's guy, aren't you? <sighs> His witness or whatever. You must be exhausted. No, let's take a break, huh, buddy? You old two martini lunch? Hmm? Have a little confab. Oh. Blah blah. Hellier than you look. A little car you wouldn't kill you. Okay, here we go, arms and legs inside a car at all times. <laughs> no, 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 this is not good. So I'm guessing he's one of the doctors that does the experiments.
Nightmare Creatures. That was Place PlayStation, wasn't it? You, you I can't remember really ever playing control. it, but I remember it. Ahead, I'll eat here. Remember it being a well, it's supposed to be a decent game. I'm in no hurry. No, all right. Nose to the grindstone. I like that. Okay then, right this way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, PlayStation. Probably should have been one of the games that were on the PlayStation 1 Classic, to be fair. Because the ones that were on it weren't that great to me, anyway. You weren't putting that tongue to any use, anyway. <laughs> Truth be told, I was just tired of looking at you. Thanks so much for coming by. We'll begin your consultation in a moment. We'll just need a second to wash up and, uh, oh, no movies. Spatling. Never heard of that brand. <laughs> pants man. Wear some pants. You know, I'm a bit worried how much time you've been spending with Father Martin. I, I know... I hope you haven't been letting him confuse you with all this holier-than-thou Bible something. Uh, no offense to the man, but I sometimes worry he might just be a little bit crazy. It's understandable. Maybe people get scared. There is like to turn to God as anything else. God died with the gold standard. We're on to a more concrete faith now. You have to rob Paul to pay Peter. There's no other way. Murder in it is the simplest form, but what happens when all money's gone? Oh, he's just teasing now. Faith. And that's what I'm here for. To make you believe. No, no. You paying attention? Don't That's pass great. that on me. There's so much for you to absorb. Better, right? Here's the only cheat here. We made the consumer into the means of production. This thing is gonna sell itself. That's, that's not as bad as... Well, it's not great, I know, but... I thought he took all his fingers off. Go on, get a bandage on that. You bleed out. Mind Dash, welcome. Uh, have I played Eternal Darkness? Yeah, I love that game. I I think it's aged, aged somewhat. But, yeah. I mean, the story was the main thing for me. Just Because, what was it? It was like 12 different chapters. And um, each one, after you did one part of... It was kind of like a history, wasn't it? Of each of the ca family characters. And... Uh, yeah, you would do one chapter, go back to the house, play as Buffy, I used to call her. Because, let's be honest, she looked like Buffy. Uh, and then, yeah, you would have to go and uncover something else. You get all these crazy, like... Uh, I forgot what they were called in the game, but... It would, like, joke that your, your memory card was being formatted or the console turns off. And I thought it was a unique, really unique game, and... It, I, I think the novel to, novelty run out by the end of the game, though, and some of the magic just got a bit complicated. I would like to see a sequel or a remake, but chances of that happening is slim. Mind Dash, yeah, it's, I mean, it's a short game, 
uh, from what I've been told, but I'm having fun with it. It's pretty gory, pretty gruesome. He's still alive. Killed the Thernicus Lakers. He worked so well. I'm probably going to end the stream relatively soon, but... Nobody. Nobody. Nobody! He'll fight you. He'll kill you. He's coming now. Trigger! Trigger! Hold up there, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where did he just come from? I mean, that pretty much sums this game up. If you enjoyed that scene, you're probably going to enjoy the rest of the game. If that scene just repulsed you, then chances are you don't want to buy the game now. So, uh... <laughs> Let's try that again. I really wasn't expecting the doctor guy to just appear like that. HP Lovecraft, yeah. I I can definitely see some similarities there. Nobody. Nobody! He'll fight you. He'll kill you. He's coming now. Trigger! Trigger! I see what's happening. You're bored. You want a little attention. Perfectly understandable. I'm here for you. I'll give you very special attention. What's that necessary? Fuck! Fuck, really? You aren't gonna walk on me! If there's one thing I cannot goddamn stand! Ex brand on X, welcome. Come on! Alright. It's annoying, guys, because. Thanks for the follow as well, by the way. Oh, come on. You have got to be joking. Uh, I would love to continue streaming tonight, guys, but I need, I need to go and grab something to eat. Oh, of course, we need an elevator key. How stupid of me. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to finish the stream up quite soon. Go and grab some food. Probably watch something on TV for a bit. Um... Now, I had planned to finish this another day. Uh, I might I might actually see... See what the time is in a bit. See how I go tonight. And I might... I don't know, part of me just wants to get back and play in this. But it is getting on a bit. <laughs> you must have a strong appetite. I don't know, I could go for a bit of raw meat at the minute, I guess. Nice bit of beef. Bit of tripe. Bit of lung. Oh. No, I'd, I'll go for the second worst thing. McDonald's. <laughs> right, I need the key. Let, let's see if I can just figure something out here with the key. It, yeah, three dollars. Honestly, you can't go wrong. Three dollars, five hour worth of gameplay. It's not, it's not bad at all, really, is it? It's not going to break the bank. Do 
Jeez, look at the state of him. Can't go through that door. That's that's definitely locked. No chance. got here then. Wow. Uh, no head, no legs, intestines just spurting out of his body. Lovely. And the DLC, yeah I think I've got the DLC on mine. I ended up buying buying it last year at some point playing it for like 20 minutes and uh, I never really got back to it so I thought you know what start again I think the sequel is probably still quite expensive but I'm not too fussed at the minute Some people say the DLC is better than the main game. So I think the DLC is called Whistle Whistleblower, which is kind of like the first document, I guess, you come across in the game. So yeah, maybe, maybe it's like a prequel. I, I don't know. Whatever I'm doing probably isn't the, the best thing, but... Now he's not just going to walk away, is he? After trying one of the cubicles. Is he gone? We went through all that effort to knock the doors down, or the door, and then he just buggered off. Oh, 
and he caught me. What a twist. We can't go through there. What about it? I think I think it was a case of getting through that door there, but uh, I'm gonna finish up the stream now anyway. Uh, I will return maybe later. It really depends. I, I want to go and chill for a bit. Uh, if it turns out I'm quite far through the game, I might come back later. But otherwise, keep an eye on the channel. I'll be back soon to finish off. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you have a great evening. If I if if I don't appear back later anyway, so uh, take it easy. See you again. Thanks for watching.